Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video we are going to try and name the best road cyclists in each of the 44 countries as specified by the UN. So not a small task to say the least. We look at the results of the riders particularly in their home nation and of course what level they've been racing at and which teams they ride for. So sit back and enjoy this little tour around Europe of all the elite cyclists and of course enjoy the questionable pronunciation by yours truly. First on the list in alpha Alphabetical order, we have the nation located on the Adriatic and Ionian Sea, that is of course Albania. And here I have to go with Ilba Sefa, who has been the national road race champion for Albania four times in a row since 2017. So to say the least, this first one is quite easy. Moving to our next country, which is the small country of Andorra, situated in the Pyrenees, which is the training location for many pros nowadays, and of course also the home of the former Spanish star and now retired pro who is incidentally my favorite rider Joaquim Rodriguez but for Andorian riders, it seems that the best one they have on offer right now is David Albos, who won the National Andorra Time Trial Championship seven times in his career. Next on the list, we have the odd-shaped country of Austria, which instantly hosted the World Championships back in 2018 in Innsbruck, and it was absolutely phenomenal. But in terms of their strongest riders, I have to go with Patrick Conrad, who finished eighth in the 2020 Giro d'Italia and also won the National Championships in 2000. 2019. We continue our search for the best riders in Europe with the nation of Belarus. Despite having almost 10 million people in the country, they aren't exactly regarded as a cycling nation Although, for many years, it has been Vasil Kirienko flying the flag high for the nation at the World Tour and he even took the World Championships as well in his career in the time trial. But he did retire early in 2020, so their best rider now has to be the 25-year-old riding for UAE Team Emirates, Alexander Ryabushenko, who is now the new pride for the nation. Next, we have the juggernaut nation of Belgium, who of course have a huge abundance of talent at the moment and the nation is is steeped in history with many of the great riders coming from that country such as the goat himself Eddie Merckx but right now the big names that they have are of course Remco Evenepoel and Wout van Aert and based on his heroics in the Tour de France and winning many races including Milan San Remo and Strada Bianchi and also almost completing the double rainbow jersey achievement which has never happened before in the Imola World Championships I have to say that it will be Wout van Aert who is the prize of Belgium right now. Bosnia is the next nation on the list or should I say Bosnia and Herzegovina and here I have to say that the strongest rider looks like it's Nedzad Majic who won the last national Bosnian road race championships which happened back in 2019 and he even won it in 2016 when he was only 19 years old. For our next country on our list we have to go to Southeast Europe a country which is bordered by Romania on the north, Serbia and North Macedonia to the west that is of course Bulgaria and here I have to say that the strongest rider that they have right now is the 2016 CBO tour winner Nikolai Mihailov who has has actually spent many years as a pro continental rider as well. The next country on our list is Croatia, a nation with plenty of strong riders in the past such as Robert Kizalovski and also they host the incredible race that is the Tour of Croatia. But in terms of their best rider it has to be Josip Omak who is the current national road race champion and current national time trial champion for Croatia and even rode the Giro d'Italia in 2020 despite finishing 99th in the GC. Cyprus is the next nation on our list and the strongest rider here without doubt has to be their six-time national time trial champion that is Andreas Miltiaris who is only 24 years old so could have a very bright future to say the least. Next we have Czech Republic and of course they have plenty of strong riders but I will have to say it is Stenek Stivar who still is carrying the nation and hopefully we'll see some cobblestone success from him in the 2021 season. Ah next on the list is my home country of Denmark and it will come to no one's surprise Denmark's strongest rider in my opinion is of course Jakob Fuglsang even though Mess Peterson has been getting better becoming the world champion in 2019 and he even managed to win the Gem World Gem race in 2020 along with a Bing Bang Tour stage win but in the meantime Fuglsang won his second monument this year in the form of the Illo Badia to add to his 2019 Liege Bastan Liege. Next we come to the small nation in the Baltics that is Estonia and Estonia have a plethora of riders 
about is compared to the size of the country and in this case I am a big fan of Raya Termaya but I will have to go with Taniel Kangat who has been a very strong climbing dynasty for many years on the world tour. For many years Finland's strongest rider was Jussi Vaikaren who retired in 2015 after three years with FDJ. The new hope for Finland emerged at the 2018 under 23 road race in Innsbruck when Jakob Haninen finished third and that managed to get him a contract with world tour team AG2R La Mondiale who he still rides for today. Next on our list we have the home of the Tour de France, the nation of France which is considerably one of the strongest nations on the continent at the moment so of course it's a very hard prospect to choose the strongest rider but of course the top spot goes to the current world champion Julian Alaphilippe. And next on the list we have the Faroe Islands, the tiny nation located between Norway and Greenland and maybe I shouldn't include this on the list but who knows. And the strongest rider looks to be Torquil Vahi who rode for the Danish pro continental side Rival Readiness for the 2019 and 2020 season and also won the national road race championships along with the national time trial championships back in 2017. Germany has been enjoying a strong generation of pro cyclists coming through with Tony Martin, Andre Greipel, Pascal Ackermann, Marcel Kittel when he was active and of course Emmanuel Buchmann who finished fourth in the 2019 Tour de France. But if we're going with the performance as of now, it's basically a tear up between Maximilian Schachmann who won the GC of Paris Nice in 2020 and of course Pascal Ackermann who's been dominating in the sprints. And on this occasion, I will say that I'll have to go with Pascal Ackerman because he's such a phenomenal sprinter at this moment in time. Next country on our list is Greece and for me their best rider has to be and I apologize for the pronunciation attempt already Polychronis Trotsatsakis who has been the national time trial champion four times as well as winning the road race championships twice and winning the tour of Egypt in 2019 and even represented Greece at the world championships in Imola in 2020. Hungary is a very interesting nation for cycling at the moment as the 2020 Giro d'Italia was actually due to start in Hungary. However, due to the situation we're in, they have rescheduled that for later on. But that will be very exciting to look forward to for any Hungarian riders and Hungarian cycling fans. But the strongest rider for the nation has to be Attilia Balta, who even won the Tour of Hungary in 2020 and has just stepped up to the World Tour with Grupama FDJ. The Viking nation of Iceland is our next country to delve into and of course they aren't particularly known for cycling they are more known strongmen so it was quite hard to decode this one but in my opinion it will have to be Ingvar Omason who is a multi-discipline rider and is also the two-time defending national time trial champion so well and truly a strong rider to say the least. Ireland has a rich history of cycling going back to Sean Kelly and Stephen Roach who really were driving that nation at the time and in recent years they've had success with Dan Martin, Nicholas Roach and Ryan Mullen and the strongest rider I deem right now which is of course Sam Bennett who is the king of the sprints and proved that in 2020 by taking not only the green jersey from Peter Scan to be the first person to do that and two stages as well including the Champs-Élysées victory. Italy is the next nation on our list and of course this is one of the cycling nations of the world and has a rich history of cycling legends with the likes of Marco Pantani, Fausto Coppi, Gino Bartoli and of course Mario Cipollini but who is actually the best rider for Italy at the moment and here I'm torn between selecting Vincenzo Nibali yet again who has won all the Grand Tours along with Milan San Remo and also the emerging generation that is coming through with the likes of Filippo Ghana but I think Vincenzo Nibali is still at the top of the pile for Italy as he proved in the Giro d'Italia where he finished seventh although below his standard. Next we have the Baltic country of Latvia which have a number of pros on the world tour at the moment but of course it will have to be the lockdown interview guest Tuam Squinge who is number one for the nation and he almost won a stage in the 2020 Tour de France. Next we have Liechtenstein which is one of the smallest countries on the continent situated in the Alps. Surprisingly when I was looking for the strongest rider from the nation it turns out that a current world tour pro is actually a citizen of the nation 
And that is, of course, Stefan Kuhn, the current European time trial champion who's also a citizen of Switzerland. But for our list here, I will include him as the strongest rider for Liechtenstein. Next, we have Lithuania, which is a small nation in terms of cycling, but has produced a number of world tour pros in recent years, such as Tomas Vakus and Ramonau Navadauskus. But the best rider has to be the friend of the channel and who's part of the fast lead out train for Arno Demar. That is, of course, Ignatas Konovalovac, who is also a very fast time trial rider and has won the national time trial championships on six occasions. Luxembourg is a small country in terms of geography, but a big country in terms of cycling history with the likes of Nicolas Frantz, who won the Tour de France twice. And of course, Charlie Gould, who won it in 1958. And we can't forget to mention Andy Schlecht, who won it in 2010. But in terms of the strongest rider right now, despite losing his national road race title for the first time, it has has to be AG2R Citroen's Bob Jungles. Another tiny country to mention is Malta and this was quite hard to find and I think their best rider is Christian Formosa who has ridden plenty of stage races in Asia and Africa but it was really hard to find something. Next country is also a small nation and that is of course Moldova that used to have the sole ambassador of Alexander Plushin in the professional peloton for many years and retired in 2016 so in terms of the best rider right now now it has to be Christian Raliayo who rides for Team Sabura Cycling and is the 2020 and 2019 double national champion both the road and time trial disciplines and even finished seventh in the prestigious Tour de Langkawi in 2020. Next is Montenegro and for this Balkan nation the strongest rider has to be the 2020 national road race and time trial champion Daniel Leno Vucevic. Monaco is not known for producing famous cyclists despite being a base for many of the pros nowadays. I will say that the best rider has to be the Burgos BH rider Victor Langelotti who could have a big future with the Spanish team to say the least. The Netherlands is another one of our big cycling nations and there's no question here who the strongest rider is at this moment in time. That is of course Mathieu van der Poel the current Ronde van Vlaanderen champion and also the national road race champion for a second time in his career. North Macedonia is a country which has a rich history in handball but for cycling not as rich their best rider seems to be andrea petrovsky who won the 2019 and 2018 national road race title along with the national time trial titles in both those years as well Furthermore, he represented the nation in the 2020 European Championships in both disciplines as well. Norway is next and their strongest rider has to be the winner of the first stage of the Tour de France in 2020. That is of course Alexander Kristoff, but Norway are enjoying a very good time producing riders and their next generation looks like they're going to be very strong. So the 2019 Tour de l'Avenir winner Tobias Foss could very soon take over that title from Alexander Kristoff. For Poland, there can only be one one name, a name that I'm not very good at pronouncing, Mikhail Kwiatkowski, as Rafa Maike has been on the decline in recent years, unfortunately. The Ineos Grandiers rider took his first Tour de France stage win in the 2020 edition. Portugal were one of the emerging nations of the 2020 season, usually pinning all their hopes on the one rider, Ru Costa, and possibly even Nelson Oliveira, but now they have another two names to add, Ruben Guerrero, but even more so, Jua Almeida, who amazed in his Neo Pro season and finished fourth in his first ever Grand Tour appearance. Of course, in the Giro d'Italia, and he was by far the most mentioned rider over the three weeks. Next on the list, we have Romania, and there can be only one rider, really, Eduard Mikhail Grosu, who has 17 career wins to his name and has enjoyed many years as a pro continental rider. Next on our list, we have Europe's biggest country with 145 million people, and that is, of course, Russia, and their best cyclist is the promising Alexander Vlazov who oppressed in the 2020 season and overtook this mantle from Ilnor Sakharin after finishing ninth in the Vuelta España and winning the Momon 2 challenge as well. San Marino is the smallest country by population in Europe if you discount the Vatican City. It's situated inland surrounded by Italy and has featured in a number of Giro d'Italia's. Last time was in 2019 and the best rider for me for this tiny nation has to be Federico Oli, who managed at the 2017 Games of Small States of Europe to finish second, beaten by the former pro Piet Leider of Luxembourg, and he also finished in front of the already mentioned Adrian Petrovsky 
and strangely also in front of the now current Ineos Grenadiers pro Brendan Smith Riviera who is from Colombia so I really didn't understand why he was part of this race very strange to say the least our next country is the Balkan nation of Serbia and here I have elected to go for youth with Dusan Rakovic, who is only 23 and has already won the national road race title along with the national time trial title twice in his career and he rides for the French Pro Conti team that is Delco and finished fourth in the Tour of Serbia as well. For Slovakia, Peter Sagan, no justification needed here and I think you'll agree. Slovenia is our next nation on the list and they are of course in the midst of their golden generation with Roglic and Pogacar spearheading this generation. But who is the best? rider for them right now is it the two-time Vuelta Espana champion or is it the first ever Slovenian Tour de France winner I will have to give it to Tade Pogaccia based on that stage 20 finish in the Tour de France Spain is our next country and is of course the home of the Vuelta Espana and have also had a plethora of strong climbers and still do and Alejandro Valverde is finally starting to decline but the title for the best rider in my opinion has to be Miguel Landa who finished fourth at the 2020 Tour de France. The final country of Scandinavia, which is Sweden, is next on our list and have been in the shadow of their two Scandinavian neighbors in terms of the sport. But their strongest rider has to be Tobias Ludvigsen, who is a three-time national time trial champion and has also ridden on the top level of cycling for many years. Switzerland's pride and joy for many years was Fabian Cantalara and the connection to the current strongest rider from the beautiful country is that Fabian Cancellara is the agent for said rider. The 2020 Flesh Valone winner Marc Hirschier, who also won a stage at the 2020 Tour de France, has to be the strongest rider for Switzerland and has a very promising future ahead of him. Ukraine used to have many pros on the top label, including Adri Grifko and Popovich, but now the honor of the best Ukrainian cyclist has to go to Marc Padun, who almost clinched the stage win in Chensin Arico in the Giro d'Italia in 2020 and finally on our list we have the United Kingdom UK have seemed to have a decline in terms of their golden generation with the likes of Geraint Thomas Chris Froome and Bradley Wiggins no longer the big dogs in the sport but I think the 2018 World to Espana champion Simon Yates is the strongest rider for the UK still but this could change in the years to come with a certain Tom Pickcock entering the scene so with that we finally come to the end of the list hope you've enjoyed it and let me know in the comments which which name of course I butchered in the pronunciations and if there's any riders that you feel that I have missed out and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss out on any of the videos and of course as always thank you for watching and see you next time